ready to get this one started tonight. Myself along with the one and only Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank, and a uh, pleasure to have him on board tonight. And, you know, I always get you in here, and you and I always have a good time when we do these games. You really know your Genoa stuff. You Seriously, you just, you really do. And uh, and tonight is just going to be one of them games where, you know, just throw caution to the wind. It's going either way tonight. Well, what I will tell you is Rossford is obviously the favorite coming in here for yep. the league champions. Uh, they have obviously had a great season this year, playing really well. They got a great starting lineup. They're deep. They, uh, they, they got a great coach. They work really hard. But I'll tell you what, don't count out the Comets. Nope. They, uh, Mikey right now is probably the most improved uh, player in the NBC this year from start to finish. And uh, he's really starting to play, Mike. And Alan Laytard right there, number 32, uh, he's starting to play a little bit better. They got a lot of guys that are learning their roles. But this Rossford team handled them pretty hard the first time in yep. Genoa this year. And uh, I know Coach, uh, Genoa's coach, is uh, he's pretty <laughs> intense. And I don't think he liked it too well. So I'm sure he's working hard. But you already saw the intenseness on Brian oh. Bors on Brian Vorst before the game. He is probably one of the best coaches in the area, not just the NBC. And he's got a great staff. And uh, this this group of Rossford Bulldogs are something special this year. Probably are gonna make a run in the tournament. Yep, they've got to, uh, oh, there it is. I have to tell you what, I laugh every time I see that play. It happens once a game. And it works every time, just those two, and it's and that's our first points of the game. Well, it was a nice pass there, but Ethan Deweese, he absolutely can fly. Mm -hmm. And I was reading in the paper this morning that article about him and his role at, at Rossford this yep. year. He just does so many things right. I, uh, I tell you this there, he got the rebound, he put the first points of the game on, just made a pass, and... Uh, you know what, Janal better get back on defense or it'll be a long night for him. Yep. Well, you got, you know, Jamari Kroom's just playing so well, almost at a point guard position now, being the, probably the biggest guy out there. And him and Ben Morrison, it's just incredible. Ben, ben will get 15, 20 points a game, all just, you know, scrappy, crappy stuff inside. It's incredible. Well, I have not had the pleasure, I don't believe, of watching Kroom play. Is it Kroom or Kroom? How do you say it? Jamari Kroom. Kroom. And I'll tell you, he's, he's, he looks like an athlete out he's there. He's stepping it up. Certain. He started the, he wasn't even, he wasn't starting at the beginning of the season yeah. and he's just come around and he's a big tall guy, but he gets things done. Yeah, he looks like uh, he's certainly moved himself into the starting lineup. He's really moving well. You know what, it looks like he's moving well without the ball. Exactly. And that's exactly. so important. This Rossford offense is so, so good. And you, you add another piece of talent to it, and wow. So. There, there, and when uh, when uh, Cameron Gadsden played uh, Rodgers, I think he had 28 points and it was just able to move around and get things done. It, it's got to be more of a team effort, and uh, that's one of the things that they were really wanting to work on tonight was uh, Gadsden. Wow, there's Look at Gadsden. That. And I, I'll tell you, he's making a play for player of the year in the NBC, no doubt about yep. it. Number two, Cameron Gaston. He's special. Junior, too. He's only a junior. They're young. Rossford's yeah. young. But uh, you know what? Um, Janelle's just got to hang in there. They have, they, you know, we talk about youth and, and really what I'm telling you, when you look at the Janelle team, they only really have one experienced varsity player from last year, Mikey Reitenauer. I mean, uh, <laughs> number 13 there. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. He, he just is, won. The <laughs> he is something special. You. Stoner kid is, he just hard nosed, probably one of the best defenders in the NBC, um, you know, but he hasn't had a ton of varsity experience because of the team. We right. had like eight or nine seniors oh, last year. There's your boy, and, and there, there Alan Leitar. That Beautiful. left hand, something special, and just like that, it's cut the lead in half, 6-3, as Leitard hits a three. And I, I, you know, at the last game I was at um, against Woodmore, Leitart and, and Mike Reidenauer came out and they had the first 21 points of the game. I mean, they were pretty special that night, took care of Woodmore and it was game over. Right. And, uh, you know, the last game before that, they, they beat Eastwood. So they're starting to play a little bit better. They just need to keep it going and uh, make things happen. Um, 
I, I think a lot of it with this team is to hang around and He's don't get three. don't let him get hot. I'm telling you, if right now it gets hot, you know, his dad used to never see a shot he didn't like. So I know I played against him. <laughs> no, I, he was actually on my team for uh, Toledo Fed ball. I never got the ball, but he always drained him. So yeah, well, let him go. We won. Know, we won the trophies. You know, he was a pretty good baseball player, but the guy loved basketball and all uh -huh. his kids were really good basketball player. He's got a younger son, Derek, who really is an athlete and he's starting to come on too. Uh, he's he's going to be. We see him tonight. A little, I, know, I think maybe. you might see him tonight, but his his job's going to be in the off season. How hard he works. Right. Um, you know he's a great runner and uh, cross country track, just an athlete. The question is whether he'll really put the effort in because he can play basketball. He's just got to learn. But look at that move. Man, I just. Cam Gaston. Every I, time I, he does that, I see I see Gervin. I, I see the Iceman. You well, know. They're a nice play. You got to make that though, yeah. my friend. You got to use the glass. I'll tell you, St. Clair's really come on though for the comments. Yeah, he's, he's, he's starting to play a little bit better, and um, I think as he as he uh, oh. has gotten oh. better. Oh. Yes. Wow. And like I said, I think him and Andre Reed from Fostoria are pushing for the Players of the Year in the NBC. Reed's got, uh, I think, Cam by a few uh, points, but both are pretty special. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the league vote goes and everything else, but both are really good players. And Faustoria has really come a long way too, but this Cameron Gaston, is a, he's a playmaker here for Rossford. And you know, the thing I love about Morrison is he don't care whether he's scoring, passing, playing defense, he works so hard. And yep. if you watch tonight, his job is to shut down right now. He's he's focused. Look at those eyes on him. Yeah, he's just he's incredible with with what he's able to do. And uh, Latar's going to take it to the hole one more time. And that's two really good looks. Janaw's had. St. Clair had a really wide open bucket and Latar right to the hole. Both miss layups though, and that's what has been the story of the Comets earlier this season. In the last few games, they've been making those, and uh, they're not going to be allowed to not make those. It'll be a long night for because Rossford's not going away, and in this new gym, they they want to play. Hey, everybody that plays here, I talk to all the coaches. They're, they're one thing they say they're, they're the stiffest rims. <laughs> and the, you know the guy right here with the basketball. You don't want him to get shot. You don't Murph. want him to get shot. Murphy can rip it too. There's Deweese. Oh, how did he miss oh. that? Uh, that's the thing is you got five guys for Rossford that could score 20 on a given night. Yep. And that makes it difficult to defend. Reed Murphy has uh, really been focused on defense this year, but don't let him have a wide open shot. There's another one. His dad could shoot it from downtown Oklahoma. I, I know. If he played on my teams, I never saw the ball. Yeah, and he played uh, at UT. Yep. An incredible basketball player. No, they were really good. Really good. You see, the other thing that Rossford doesn't get a lot of credit for is this floor spacing. That's that's Brian Vorse. Uh, he, he really, really teaches nice floor spacing, and that allows – um, Cam Gaston to just make moves just like that. See how that floor spacing is? DeWeese right there, and there, boom, right there. Morris. Every time. And it's just floor spacing and moving without the yep. basketball. Every and it's time. very, very difficult to defend. 13-3 with 155 left to go here in the first. I expect if the Comets don't score on this one, they're going to see a timeout coming yeah, pretty yeah. soon because this is a 13-3. 10 points and uh, and Rossford's in complete control of the start of this game. Now, you got to remember, Alan Latard missed a wide open layup and oh, oh wow, there's Jake. <laughs> Jake Emerson, one of my favorite. I've watched him in JVs. I, just a nice kid. Yeah, again, he's the one. You know, he's a junior. Murph. And um, I, you know, he's had oh. a couple. He's had some. Uh, health related issues that uh -huh. he's had to battle but he is an athlete look oh. at the size of that guy and look nice. at that pass i'll tell you what he, he likes this uh and there's brian vorse calling the timeout just like that i thought uh Janal was on the verge of a timeout and all of a sudden uh, it's all him <laughs> yeah he's, hey. he's taking a move man. 
We'll be right back. At Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Tightening it up a little bit here tonight as uh, we're live. Uh, second of our doubleheader tonight. Marty well, Sutter in with me here, and uh, he's having a ball. Yeah, I am. It's just a beautiful arena, and I think it was a little intimidating for the Comets to come out here on all this maroon and gray. They're used <laughs> to being the maroon and gray, I think. But I'll tell you what, this is an intimidating floor, yes, just like is. the old field house in downtown Rossford used to be. This one's going to be a special place. The community should be very happy with this. Oh, there's, there's the big Deweese, the young yep. man. He is a powerful young uh -oh. man. Uh-oh, Gadsden, uh, did he get it? He sure did. Oh, wide open, oh. oh. Should have gone to Ben. Jamari Kroom. <laughs> that's four They're rebounds and a bucket. Fierce. You can't allow that to happen. That's four rebounds and then Kroom just, he went right up and over everyone for the bucket. There's Kroom again. Hello. I think he almost hit his head on the basket on the way up yeah. for that one. Welcome to my neighborhood. Yeah, that looked like JMO in the day right there, <laughs> downtown. Actually, though, that's what I did. I blocked <laughs> shots and made a couple of rebounds. Passed the ball to guys like uh, yeah, Murph. Ooh. Oh, oh, yep. Wish he had that one back. Yeah, what a nice defensive play by Cam Gaston. Uh, he just, he made a heck of a steal and then came down, lost the ball, and now it's the Comets' ball. You know, the one thing that, uh, uh, I'm not sure where Genoa's at with playoffs next week. Right now, our... I think he rushed oh, that one yeah. a little bit. He didn't need oh. to, he didn't need to do it, but it was a good look. Heck of a first quarter. 15-8, Rossford, <laughs> stay tuned. Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Moe Burger. Moe's Place, proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. At Heben, Murphy & Lewandowski, we deal with contested wills by breaking down the legal terms involved and making this complex area of law as simple as possible. If you are involved with a case in estate or probate litigation, we would be happy to provide you with our unparalleled legal counsel. Heben, Murphy, and Lewandowski, downtown Rossford. Contact them today at 419-662-3100. Heben, Murphy, and Lewandowski. Fifteen to eight's our score right now. The hometown Rossford Bulldogs on top here, and uh, Marty. Uh, so far, we've you know, Bulldogs basically been able to do what they want. I mean, they just haven't had some shots fall, and uh, and Genoa, you know, they've they've tickled a couple of interesting plays to make things happen. But that's what you got to do, and uh, and really good stuff coming out of them. Yeah. Well, the difference in the game is Genoa's missed three layups. I mean, otherwise, yeah. uh, you know, it's 15, 13. It's that, exactly. it's that, you know, right there. Um, but, you know, it's a uh, Rossford's the, you know, they're the cream of the crop in the NBC this year and Genoa's going to have to beat them. And, uh, Rossford's not giving anything away, and you can say anything you want, but how about that timeout by Brian Vorst when the Comets went on a little roll after Jake Emerson kind of had two huge plays in a yep. row. Immediately, Vorst calls timeout, brings the boys over there, and I'll tell you what, they came out, and then boom. it was They, they defended better. They played harder, and that's why he's one of the best coaches in the NBC, Mike. Yep. That's, I couldn't say any better than that. And I'll tell you the other thing is this whole gymnasium is something for this community to be proud of. You know, you were talking at the break about uh, Moe's and, nice. you know, some of the, the – there's a play. Oh, Shapila, nice, nice job. Zach Shapila. But, you know, you were talking about Moe's, the diner here in downtown uh, Rossford, and 
That, that place is special to you. I think you've had a cheeseburger or two over there, haven't you? Uh, I'm a breakfast guy there. I like the breakfast. And then when oh. they do the mashed potato chicken chunks <laughs> and gravy, you got to try that. Literally, the mashed potato and gravy chicken chunks are the they're just unbelievable. Right. And you know what? Prime rib's good there. The per everything's good there. And, and Harpo's been really, really good to us, and he's uh, taking really good care of us with the games. And uh, now he's got the game on right now. People are watching it there right now. Well, hello over there at Moe's. But I'll, I'll tell you, the whole community, again, this, this gymnasium, field house, a school, something for all of them to be proud of. I, uh, you know, I'm a... A guy that loves Northwest Ohio basketball, loves the Northwest Ohio community, and when you see something like this, it just gives you something in your heart. Exactly. You're just happy to see it. Oh yeah. Well, it took a long time to get it. Now, uh, now they're proud, and uh, mm, you should be. Got some really. Oh, uh oh. Later. Ooh. Just a little short again. And watch this play. Yeah, I yeah, think so, too. I think, Boy. Yeah, I think Ben got it. You got to give those uh, refs a little credit there, Mike. <laughs> they ran the floor there, and they were in a good spot to see that it just went off Ben Morrison's uh, fingertips. It was just a little bit outstretched pass. <laughs> and uh, now we got Ben in the game for Rossford. He's kind of instant offense, isn't he, for, uh, for the Bulldogs? He's actually been, uh, this year, he's been a lot of good defense. He's really? done a lot of good on defense and clogging things up for people. But you know what? He's got the ability with that three-point shot, things can happen. Well, I remember his brother played at Rossford. Oh, yeah. He was a nice shooter, and I'm sure he, uh, he's he got some game, and uh, it's nice to see him in the lineup right now working hard. Yeah, you can see he can play defense. There's a wide open look. Boom. There it is. Wasserman needed that big. Yeah. Downtown Janaw on that one, Mike. That made Dad proud. Yep, he's standing up cheering. That's oh, yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, Trevor Wasserman's really improved his shooting this year. He plays so hard, and he is so fast. You know, back in 1982-83, when the O'Carver Rockets were the team to beat in, them, in, uh, in the uh, Northwest Ohio, his uncle, uh, Dan Wasserman, played for the Rockets with Dan Christie and Don Christie. And uh, Trevor, I think, shoots it a little better. But I, I, he can fire it up. Uh, It'd be amazing whether well, Christie's could be listening right now. They're not going to like hearing that from well, me. Well, <laughs> I'm not saying they shot better than Dan Christie because he might have been – one of the best shooters around. Mm -hmm. you know, we're he played ourselves. at Finley, right? He or played, Defiance? He played at Dayton. They or went Dayton. to the okay, final. Gotcha. Yep, yep. What was it? The final yep. four or one? The sweet. Nice. I mean, oh, another. Oh. That, there's another. Good. That's four. Is yep. that four or five layups? I mean, it was in and out. I mean, Zach Shapila on a great. Oh, that was a mm -hmm. few extra They got steps. him that time. That was a Euro in there. Now, number 14 in the game for the Bulldogs. Jake Morrison, now he's a freshman, isn't he? Um, he yeah. is, yes he is, yes I he is. I haven't seen him play too much the last time he played, so Bryant's getting some guys in and uh, putting some pressure on the Comets going deep early. I'm going to tell you right now, Luke Borovich, who is a freshman also, is another mean little bulldog. He's a scrappy bulldog. And uh, he, you see the transfer the from Evergreen? Yep, yep. Him yep. and his brother. He's got his brother, too. Uh, Nick Borovich, who's, who's not playing, but uh, but he just, I'll tell you what, this kid can handle the ball, and he makes things happen up at the top. What you got in there right now is a lot of hardcore shooting power, a lot of power from shooting from the bulldog's end. Well, and I, I'm, I know people Ooh. don't understand one thing is maybe one of the best players in the whole Bulldog in the whole. I don't know wow. about traveling there. It either had to be a charge or it had to be a block, I think. I actually <laughs> felt that up here. It is, well, when them two's hit, it was just like it was like a meaning of a nuclear bomb. Man. Well, Ryland Boom. Stoner was coming in on that right side, and he was going to go hard. The problem is... Gavin DeWeese is a hard guy to move. Yeah, he's if a you truck. Know, if you know Gavin's dad, oh, he, Denny, Dennis, is, yeah, he's a he, he's a truck too. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Gavin, he plays like a post, and he was in there, and he was a post in the ground. He didn't move when Stoner hit him, and he caused him to turn it over. You know, the DeWeeses have just been uh, incredible names in basketball throughout the years, and uh, I think even Denny played a little basketball, right? Oh yeah, he played. <laughs> he was pretty good, and you know. He won't come out and play with us. He says you don't have knees now. Well, he's a heck of a plumber, and they got a great business. And uh, 
I don't think he's got time to mess around, and if he does get hurt, it probably wouldn't That's be That's the good. problem right, right there. He could probably come out and play and school all of us, but it's the getting hurt. Yep, absolutely. I play with over Brad's place a couple nights a week, but you don't. I ain't jumping. No, 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 no. I just go out there for the run. Jake got a good look on that one, and if, if Jake starts hitting him, that's that's huge for Genoa. I mean, we got a two-point game here, folks. Wasserman once again. He's just a little missile butt, man. He's yep. just going to make all that stuff happen. There he is. This could be a change. That could have been a lead change. Alan Latard shot a three from the corner just a little wide, but Janoff kept the ball. As a, Again, Jake Emerson's just hitting the loose balls, getting them, and tipped it out to Trevor Wasserman. He's again, doing a nice job. They got a nice, nice flow I out you, there. Janoff's playing Look at this. Better. Oh, I thought he had it. They've gotten nice looks. This seems like um, Morrison's time to take over a little bit here, too. Ben Morrison, his brother's out there. Ethan. And there's Deweese. That's that old a, man. That was, a, that was a, like playing out at the local church right there downtown. I call him Grandpa Deweese. Yeah, that was. That and was his a, grandpa laughs at me whenever I do that. They're, they're here tonight. So. That was a nice shot there, though. That really helped. Rossford had been shut out this quarter, and we're down to the 2.25 mark here in the second quarter. And uh, now it's 18-13, Bulldogs up. Um, playing some solid defense. Nice. There he is again. If Every they miss time. that one. Nope, Zach Shapila, bucket. Nice pass by uh, Ryland Stoner. Again, Janaz missed five layups. Of those bunnies, yep. 18-15, Bulldogs. Um, Deweese is starting to heat up there. You can see it in his eyes, can't you? He I was a little it. upset, yeah. Yeah, they did a nice article about him. That was a very nice article. I wonder, uh, Cameron uh, Gaston's been on the bench for a little while here. Did uh, he get, he not run something right, or what happened there, Mike? You know, it's it's just, it's a whole different set, the way they do things. And, uh, and you know, Cameron's been able to get to the hole, but you know, he's had a couple of traveling calls. And, oh, Gavin got nailed on that one. You put them arms around there and you hug them, even though it's Valentine's Day, you get in trouble. You know, so. I don't know. I thought it was on uh, Gavin Deweese, but I think it was on uh, Zach Shapila. He, I think Zach was hugging Gavin. I don't know. Well, it's Valentine's Day. They were getting a hug in. Right? They're, not showing the, they're not showing the fouls on the, the board tonight, so I don't know. There's Gaston in the game now. It's just a different speed level when he's in, though. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Over yep. the back. Nice check out. Jamari's got a way of doing that. Andrew mm. St. Clair. Nice check out. Boxed out very well. And, uh, that hurt Cameron one. Kroom. He, he's in right away. You know, you do something wrong. Brian's going to talk to him. Well, we've got a timeout here. Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, let me see here. 18 is our score. Hi there. I'm Nick with A-plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A-plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyman.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. Any job big or small, A-plus building maintenance, 419-478-1542. You're in the beautiful facilities here, Rossford High School, 1815 is our score. Mike Jamison along with Marty Sutter from Genoa Bank. And uh, so far tonight, uh, I'll tell you what, Genoa has really, like you were just saying, you know, they four or five uh, insides that they, they should have got. Well, I believe they're the most improved team in the NBC from start to I will agree with finish. that. I and, will uh, agree. You know, I think they came out a little shell-shocked. This is one beautiful, beautiful gym floor arena. And, uh, you know, it was 13-3. to three, But since that point, and that was only a few minutes in the game, it's 18-15, and Janaz missed four or five layups. Um, Cameron Gaston has had a few turnovers here uh, in the second quarter. He sat a little bit. Looks like Mike Reitenauer's coming in. 
I think the Bulldogs have had a defensive plan to take right now out of the game. Well, so far, they so have. far they, they yeah. had uh, the coach took right now out for a few minutes and uh, the Comets got back into the game by just driving and dishing it off to their big guys and got some layups there. So a couple threes and, and you know, who knows? There he is again, Trevor Wasserman, just a little short. Jake's got two rebounds now for the Morrison family. Uh-oh. I like this. I did. Sophomore, Horovich. That kid can play some basketball. Both him and his brother play one wonderful basketball. Yeah, that's too bad right there. They had uh, St. Clair on the, on the fly, but... Uh, Ball was just a little bit outside. Ryland Stoner threw it a little long. You know, he's a great catcher for the Comets baseball program, and they should be really good this year. And I I think uh, Phil O'Shea's got the baseball team going here at Rossford. So, yeah. uh, you know, they're... God, I'd love to do some games this year, but, you know, you get you get all the kids ready, you get your cameramen, and then it rains. <laughs> Northwest and then, and then Ohio. They, yeah, they can't take the next day off when they yeah. do the game, and I would love to do baseball games yeah. and softball. Everybody asks us. And yeah, Northwest Ohio's tough for spring baseball, though. Yeah. I, this I, year, last five years, it's been I terrible. I can tell you, with uh, my three boys uh, graduated, and I got one daughter who's down there cheering, Mike. She's about due to some flips here. Let's uh, see what's <laughs> we'll up. We'll have them. We'll have them. But I'll, I'll tell you what, I don't miss the days of, uh, of spring baseball. Right. I, I love baseball. I love it in the summer. But Northwest Ohio, you know, one out of five years, it's nice. There he is again. Oh, travel. called the travel. 2.3 seconds left here in the half, and 21-15. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you what, you know, it's playing good. Uh, like you said, just a few little uh, offshoots here on bunnies, and uh, that can all be fixed. Oh, wow, my. what a throw. <laughs> Is that Stoner? Yeah. What an arm. My arm would have gone further than oh the ball went. Oh, my goodness. Went. Did oh you see gosh. that throw? He went coast to coast. Hit St. Clair at the buzzer, and it was just a little long. Well, he was the football quarterback, yeah, he was the wasn't quarterback, he? And wow. Like I said, he can, he can throw it. It was a heck of a first half for both teams. It's wonderful to be here at the new Bulldog Arena here in downtown Rossford. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284.
ready to get this thing started here in the third quarter. Some of our stats from the half here. Uh, Trevor Wasserman, one of four, three points. Looking down here, Jake Emerson, one, two, one of two, three points. Uh, one of five for Alan Latar at one three-pointer, two. And uh, three of five for Zach Zapilia. Uh, six points here, six of 20, three of 12 for three-point range, uh, 15 points for uh, Rosford, Ben Morrison, two of four, uh, three of four for Cameron Gadsen, Ethan uh, Deweese, two of seven with uh, one of three with three-point shooting, uh, Jamari Krum, one of two, and uh, Luke Borovich, one of two, one of two from three-point line, nine of 22 field goals, and two of nine from three-point line. Uh, I don't know, Mark. Here, we'll get you back here. Ugh. There we go. Yeah. Well, I didn't I didn't check your stats. You know, you're a math man, you know, oh checking on. I went to Cardinal Stretch. I am no math man. There's... Well, all I'm telling you is uh, <laughs> it was 13-3 and on the verge of a complete blowout, and Jake Emerson had two back-to-back -back big plays and uh, really turned this game he around sure and brought yep. Janal back into it. It ended up at one point 15 to 18 for the longest time. End of the half, 21-15. You know, it's a two-possession game. Rossford's ball. Um, you know, it's you know, they're letting Janaw hang around, but it certainly wasn't the best offensive half for either team. Well, both of these teams can score if they need to. It's just they have to handle the ball better. Well. How many turnovers did you say they had in the first half? Did you? I, I thought Janelle had nine turnovers. I don't know what Rossford had. Do you? Eight. Eight. And uh, Rossford had seven. Uh, uh, Janelle had eight. Okay. That's what Kenny Sutter says. Is Kenny any relation to you? <laughs> I always ask you that, don't I? <laughs> what I will tell you. You don't is, look alike. Uh, yeah. there, there's a lot of Sutters out there. You know, my dad was <laughs> the youngest of 11. So. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But uh, I added just, see, that wasn't too bad for just my head. I had Janoff for nine and eight for yes. Rossford, so just the guessing. That that's why you're bad. the bank president, you know. That's, uh, you know what to do. You know what to do. Well, he, I do think both teams uh, have the ability to score at will. They just got to do it. There's they a tell. nice rebound, but again, yeah. there's a, yeah. that's a layup. You gotta. That ball has got to be made when you're in there. There wasn't even anybody on his shoulder on that one. He got a great rebound and could have put it back up. And he, you know, again, I don't think he used the glass too well there and pushed it too hard. And Allen's a great player. Don't get me wrong. It, it's well, just so stiff rims. That's I, what they're talking. About. Well, I'm. I'm not sure. You know what? When you look at the arena here, the the there's a there's some room between. Oh, got it. Beautiful Cameron shot. Gas. How many points he got now, Mike? Uh, Ganston is, uh, he's got nine. He's got nine points. Yep. There's another one, uh, Trevor Wasserman uh, kind of put the brakes on. Everybody went by him, and he was getting ready to make a layup there, but he, he took an extra step. I got to get special thanks out to uh, Mike Weiss Roofing. Uh, they are uh, a commercial roofing contractor. They actually put the roof on this place. And uh, Mike, we all know Mike. He's over there on Main Street in Millbury, 836-3028. Uh, Thank you for helping us out, my friend. And uh, Michael is a great guy. Colonel Stritch grad. Mike's a great guy, and he's the MJ Roofing, right? Or what yep, is yep. It? yep, MJ, MJ Weiss. Weiss. Yep. Yes. And they do a phenomenal job, quality. And uh, there's a wide open layup, or no, they're back out. Trevor for three. Trevor Wasserman missed the three. Deweese, another, see, there's the little things he always does. He comes yep. up with a loose ball, rebound, and uh, I don't know. Gaston looks like he's going to take this one over. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he, just, he is fast, isn't he, Mike? He, he's so uh -oh. quick. Murphy missed. There's a pass inside. Did not move. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, the difference right now, 25-15, as Rossford puts, pushes out a little bit bigger lead. They just came out, made two uh, layups back-to-back, -back, and uh, Janaw's missed and turned it over twice. Now there's a wide open right here. Yeah, I got a layup there. There you go. St. Clair on the bucket. Nice pass by Ryland Stoner. Beat the press and made it happen. Uh-oh. He don't miss those. 
He's got 11 now. Look at this. There's another turnover. Nope. Oh. St. Clair. Boy, he wanted that one. <laughs> He's a pretty good three-point shooter, too, St. Clair. So Stoner oh. just turned it over out front. Nope. Then Rossford turned it over. Nobody wants that ball. It's a hot, <laughs> hot potato tonight. Oh, he had him. You see him look at Allen. Stoner thought about it, but... Uh oh, moving screen. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You know, everybody's. Stoner's a lefty, too, right? Right. And everybody's, everybody's mad at St. Clair there, but I think they might have moved just a little early. You got to wait for that, that post to set that move, you know, and then come off. Yeah, that's what makes it happen, too. Yep. Definitely. Now, I'm I'm a little worried for Janon. And, you know, I said it in that first quarter when it was 13 to 3. Uh, Rossford makes this bucket. I think Janon better get a timeout because they came out and they pushed this thing up 27-17 and they look like they're playing really well. That floor spacing's good and you know, they, you said it before, Mike, they are a good second half team. Man, they just missed Jamari Kroom. <laughs> I mean, up, oh, Ethan. Hmm. Kroom, Kroom made the first cut and he was wide open. First cut and wide open. They just can't get, they can't get right now or open at all. No, ben Morrison has done a phenomenal job. There's the switch. Yeah. Gadsden and got uh, him. Gaston got him. But when Ben Morrison's on him, he just, he hasn't taken any risks. Right. He's just staying in front of Mike. And, uh, you know, the other thing you got to. <laughs> and when, and when Morrison's not guarding him, Kroom's guarding him. So right. he can't, he can't get a break. Well, the other thing is, is the Janal guys got to make those layups when they're open because. That's really pushing that that defense is coming right way out and the back door is open. Yep. They're getting some wide open looks, but it makes it awful hard on a shooter. There, I like that. Nice, nice inside out right hard there. And, and uh, right now are made a beautiful pass. You know what? You don't always have to be a scorer to make a great offensive play. That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> Ethan Deweese. Ethan Deweese was way up for that rebound. Mike's and Jake had him locked in. I mean, he had him blocked out good. Pilia. There's another missed layup. What did you say was the injury that Zach had? Oh, Alan Latar, get him hot. That'll help. It's 29-22, and just like the first half, I'm calling a Janal timeout if they get don't get going. And boom, boom, boom. It's got to cut to seven. Alan Latard on a beautiful shot from the corner. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. All right, we're back here and um, great game so far. Great game. Well, I'll make sure I get them. There's Deweese going inside. Nice pass. Both Deweeses are in. Mike right now, go to the hole, Mike. There it is. Mike's on the scoreboard. Went right to the hole, right over Gaston. Nice shot. And just like that, it's 29-24. Comets are not going to be pushed away tonight. I, I was a little worried when I saw that, that this could get away from the Comets, Mike. But, oh, oh, the big man, Zach Shapila. Wow. Use that backboard. Make Use Emerson backboard. on another nice little, you know, just the little things, Mike. No, it, exactly. And and right now, they, they either team can, you know, either team can do whatever they need to take, and they just have to find out what their good stuff is. What does Ben Morrison have in the first half? How many points does he have right now? Um. Because he's been kind of quiet tonight. He's yeah. usually a really good shooter, but I think he's so focused on the defensive end. There's the other DeWeese. 
Gavin DeWeese on a big rebound on a missed shot. And Benny's only had four tonight. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's Mike Reidenauer and him. They're, they're both great Cancel offensive players. And, uh-oh, there he is, just like that. Ooh, a little long. He took a shot, Ben Morrison, from the corner. He'll be out in the barn tomorrow shooting <laughs> those if he misses any more. I'll tell you what, well, I'll he be is, there Sunday causing some trouble. Yeah, he, I'll tell you what, he's a nice basketball player that plays hard and, yep. you know, just a defensive specialist. And that's Latar. Aaron Latar. That's yeah. the best shooting I've seen out of him all season so far. Well, it's just like that. It's 29-27, and if you remember, it was 13-3 to start the first half, and the game went to 15-13. It's like the tale of two cities here. The first <laughs> half, second half, it's exactly the same thing. We're down to 35 seconds, oh. and just like that, Gavin DeWeese is called on a pick. He foul, him. And he just took Shapila right out. <laughs> he I mean, he literally, he, he, is a, he is a big man, number four, Gavin DeWeese. And uh, they called him for the foul, but you know when you get that body rolling through the middle like that, Mike, you, oh, yeah. the train's coming through. <laughs> he is certainly a nice player. Good defense by Shapila, and just like that, this there could you go. be a tight game. Oh, Should've gone up. I don't know. Should've that that should have been a layup, shouldn't it? Yeah, or just turn around and put it in the hole. He was up high enough. Yeah, you know what? Might have been the right call. Take the last shot. You got this cut to two. Oh, yeah. What the heck? If the Comets would take the lead. Got to get it off. Oh. I don't believe. Uh, that was a quick, quick quarter. That was a quick quarter, just like that, 29-27. And I'm telling you, Tim Hosfeld is not happy that Zach Shapila didn't put that ball in now, when yep. he got the ball underneath the basket. But, exactly. And they, they didn't get quite, look at that flipping out there. Mike. Wow. Who's that? That's, That's got to be a little Sutter. Sutter. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> best athlete in the family right there. Well, maybe second best. Oh, geez. Here <laughs> we go. I've golfed with you before. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get you out golfing this year. Yeah, that was fun. That was a fun time. Well, you gotta remember one thing, Mike. I don't leave it in the bag. I swing pretty hard. It may, I never know where it's going. But you I know what? You do. Hard. You you got some. You, we played in our that Aurora project out there at uh, Toledo Country Club, and uh, you did a nice job. And boy, I'll tell you, you started getting a hold of some of them there at the end, and uh, that, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was another great community event. And every time there's a great community event, Mike Jamison's there. You I, know? Try. I, I try. I uh, try. It's nice that you do that stuff. And that's what we do at Genome Bank, Mike. We try to be involved with great community events. That's why tonight I'm sitting out here just because I enjoy basketball in Northwest Ohio. I just love the community. And to be here at Rossford to watch this new gym and to watch the Coach Vorst and his team, NBC champions this year. You know, they're really good, and I think they're gonna make a run. But I told you before the game started, the most improved team in the NBC is Genoa. And uh, right there, Zach Shapila checked out Ethan DeWeese. You know, Ethan got two of those earlier in the game, and the rep didn't call him. I, I don't blame him for going up for that because Exactly. Think, yeah, you know, that's and that was the, the weakest of the three. Yeah, that's that the, was the weakest. You know, again, I, I always felt bad for the big guys because my sons were big. And yeah. It, it's hard when the refs don't call that, don't call it, and then you do it, and then they boom. Exactly. Oh. How Look about at that, that move? I'm telling you, man, that Emerson kid, I like him, man. He's, he really having a, he's doing a really nice job tonight. That was one of the best moves I've seen. Nice out-of-bounds play there by Tim Hosfed. The Comets head coach, he called, what did he say, number three there. And wow, that was a nice play. Tied Jake up. Emerson got it tied. I don't think it's been tied since 0-0, zero, zero, I don't think it has either. I think it's, this is just giving Genoa big props right now. They brought in uh, they, they brought in uh, Jake Morrison to get a little firepower off the bench. Uh, Oh, Ben Morrison with the nice rebound there, loose ball rebound. Look at how Stoner's playing him. I, I, I watched him play Ryland. 
That's the shot, but you can't allow that rebound. Everything was so good by Genoa except one thing, Mike. Yeah. They forgot to check out. Yeah, and no Ben Morrison all, yeah. has, you know, done the little things right today. I, I, he's usually a great offensive scorer, but him and Mike right now, I think, only have a few points each, and they're just working so hard against each other. I think it's like their dad's in the barn there, you know. They play hard against each other, too, and these two boys have grown up together. Good friends, I think, off the court, and they're playing really hard. That's the one thing about this league with the Northern Buckeye. I mean, they all these kids know each other, and if you know, there's just friendship. Oh, look at that, Ben Morrison, boom, boom. Oh, the they called the foul before the layup. Yeah, it probably was, but yeah, he, you know, in the church league, they don't call that one. Mike. <laughs> I thought that was a great play by Ben Morrison, and actually, it was a smart foul, but. Did you see who they called on that? I, I didn't catch no, who it I was, but it. that was a smart foul because Morrison, he's starting to heat up here, isn't he? That's, that's all he needs, right? Oh, Groom got it. The, Groom getting that, that back rebound. Look at this. Yeah, now it's going to be full court. There's Emerson. I like nice it. pass. There you go. I'll tell you what. Give Jake Emerson. He's playing the best game of the of his uh, junior year this tonight, and he's keeping the Comets in the game. I, you know, I think he's going some to un unsung heroes here. Croom's really going hard, and Jake Emerson, you know, and uh, it's kind of fun to watch these coaches go back and forth. And, yep. 33-31 uh, with uh, Croom at the line for the Bulldogs. We're at the 6.2, six minutes, 20 seconds, and Ooh. And there comes the Comets with two more guys. Now, you, you, were you at the first game, Mike, when we played it, you know? Oh, yeah, I'm sure I was. All right, yeah. so if you look at this, and you look at this Genoa team now, compared oh, to then, night I, day. It's, it's totally different, yep. and you gotta give the head coach, I agree. Tim Osfed, you know, everybody told me what a great coach he was gonna be. I guess he was a really, really, great basketball player and he's worked really hard with these young kids and they're starting to play he played at southview right right yep, yep. yep. yeah he can play uh, golf too oh boy so now well, we gotta we'll be doing 10 shows here and all of our golf courses are going to be we, we're going to do the dunes arcadia bluffs uh the jackal 50 60 dollar golf courses this year i'm excited and then see I'm just going to play I, a lot. See how I led you right into that, That Mike? was nice, nice. Yep. Now find me some sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> right here, watch this. Oh, I figured that would pop. Oh, yeah. that's a good pass right there, Allen. Allen's on fire, Ooh. give him the ball. How many has he got tonight, you know? He's had a heck of a game. And just like that, 34-33, Rossford ball. He's got 15. Five minutes, 21 seconds left. And, uh... Rossford's sitting out there burning some time, but I gotta be honest with you, if I'm Janon, I'm not sure I don't let him burn it down to a minute because to me, I, I'm i always worried. I, I think you gotta give Rossford as the favorite here tonight. And uh-oh, uh Ben Morrison, that was nice not looking his shot. shot, but you that know, it just was a little long. I think right. he rushed it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that was not his shot. His feet were not, he, he came down sideways, mm -hmm. so. Well, just like that, Janal could take its first lead of the night right now. And there he is. Oh, I thought Wasserman was going to knock that down. And yeah, right now it's only got two tonight. Oh, uh -oh. lights are. And wow! Alan Latard is putting on a show here. <laughs> he just made one of the best shots of his high school career and gave the Comets a one-point lead, and he's at the foul line. Wow. Four minute, 35, four minute, 36 seconds left in this ball game, and this crowd is quiet. Just the boys like this kid, I, just incredible. Last year, he didn't get a lot of minutes, and right. I always, I never Boy, every played. time he did, though, he, he, he always the guy. made it happen. Yep, he exactly. always has been a good scorer, and. That was a Cardinal Stritch game that right. we were like, why isn't he in? Right. Oh, that's somebody, him gonna yeah. be over the back. And again, sure Allen had him blocked out, and Kroom went right over his back. Don't be surprised if, if Brian takes a timeout here. 
I haven't got one of these timeouts right yet, so I'm just telling you. <laughs> Janaw's taking Emerson out of the game. He's played so well that they must think he needs a little break. A little They're bringing Linkus in for uh, Rossford here, too, to go against Latar. That's that's a lot of bulk. Oh, it's a ooh. lot of bulk. He just shoved him right in the back there. Janaw's figured out this press a little bit, and I think that's helped them. Yep. Now they got Ben Morrison off uh, Mikey right now. Oh, and I don't nobody know, there. But there he was. He was on Ryland Stoner, and yep. Ryland tossed that one up into the upper deck. Kind of put it right through the uprights. Yep. I think he was looking for his buddy Mike right now, and honestly, Mike was open, so he knew where he was supposed to be, and I don't know what happened. He wasn't there, but, you know. Rossford is, oh, there's that, your pass. Oh! Wow, how is that not something? Oh, they collided in midair, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, staying here with Genoa. Who's, uh, who's number 20 for Rossford there? He is really Linkus. playing hard. Gavin Linkus. Linkus. Yep. I tell you what, he's come in and gave him some energy. He's hasn't? hardcore football, too. Is he? Oh, what, yeah. Is he a tackle? No, I think he, he might have been a running back. He, really? may have been, he may have gone both sides. Uh -oh. Yeah, Benny got him. How many fouls is that? Nobody, uh, no, no, one, no yeah. pain, no gain there. But six Mike runs. Reitenauer made a nice move. And the problem is that's six fouls on Rossford. You know, the next one puts the Comets at the line. Mike Reitenauer usually gets pretty serious about right now. Uh-oh, is that Allen? Oh. <laughs> Allen Leitard. He, right now, Mike, it's upset wow. alert. Yeah, yeah. It's upset alert, except Dewey said, forget that. Nope, he missed it. I thought yeah, Ethan go. Deweese was going to knock that one down. Yeah, Gavin back in now. 327 left to go. Comets on top, 37-34. Playing great ball. You know what? I'm sorry. It's 37, folks. 37-34. Janaw's up. 3.27. On the three minutes, 27 second, Ben Morrison. He has been long. Oh, oh my. <laughs> wow. He said, no, 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 no. That's my ball. That was a heck of a play by Ethan DeWeese. That was, <laughs> I'm going to take this game right now and make this shot. Did you see that yeah, one there hand? There was no way. I think he must have his dad's paws because that was a heck of a heck of a rebound. And I mean, he, he just did it with one hand. Heck, got timeout. Three minute mark, two minutes and 58 seconds. Comets on the lead, but don't go away. Rossford's got a timeout. Founded in 1936, Spitler Huffman is proud to continue our long standing tradition of providing quality results and effective legal services to clients all across Northwest Ohio. We solve problems. That has been our motto for more than 78 years. Be it simple or complex, our attorneys work hard to give you the representation you deserve. We also believe in and support the respective communities in which we live and practice law. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, see, I got beat by Eastwood the other day. We beat Eastwood. 37-36 right now, 2.58 to go. Mike Jamison along with Marty Sutter from Genoa Bank, and uh, glad to have him on board. And... Uh, Thank his crazy butt for believing in me every once in a while. I don't know why sometimes, but for some ungodly reason, we've got about 350 people listening to us right now, which is not a bad number for people to sit in front of their computer screens or they're putting it up on their TVs. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. I know they got it on over at uh, Moe's right now, and uh, big game, big That's game. A really nice ball game. This Rossford community should be proud of this team, proud of this. Uh, this arena here, it's its a special place to play. Oh, he should have taken it. Oh, he traveled. Kind of got caught on his hip. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I didn't see that. Mike. Well, he, I, when he went to catch the ball, it kind of caught on his back side. Yeah, but I, I thought that was. He, he moved again. He took another step. That's why they called it. I don't know. Oh, Eagle Eye Jameson. There, Ethan DeWeese. How about that? That's nice play by him. His dad's got to be happy. That's that's four in a row for Ethan DeWeese to give the, the Bulldogs a lead. 
And uh, I think Leotard, and he's playing on Leotard too now. Did you see that? They put him on. I'll and face guard him the rest of the night. The question is, uh, you know, we're down to the two minute mark here. This is gonna be a ball game. 38-37, Comet basketball, and they're down one. Yeah, they're not letting them get inside now. Oh, that's going to be a, yeah, yep. Problem is, Gadsden's so quick. Right now we're so quick. They got so much going on, and, and Zach just couldn't keep up with that. Yeah, and that, I, I, got, didn't, I didn't like that call, though. I, You know what? Let the guys win yeah. the game or lose the game. That was a that was you know they've let them play tonight, and I give them all the credit in the world. This is a hard thing to ref these games and stuff, but that was kind of a touch out front. If Mike Jamo would have been out front, <laughs> set that pick, this whole world would have came unglued if they'd have called that foul on you. I'd have probably, uh, I'd have probably, there'd have been blood. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't think it was that bad. They've no. been beating each other up inside right. other places, you know. I. Oh, oh, Mike Reitenauer with the steal. Knew that was coming. I knew he was going to get him. He and wants to just... shoot this, too. There's a play. How about that? Inside. Boom. I Zach, tell you what, the hardest shot of the night for Zach Shapila, and he knocked it down. And DeWeese kind of rushed it, rushed it, and Gaston uh, went over uh, the back on on uh, Alan Latar, and he's going to be at the line, Mike. Shooting one and one with the lead. Allen's gonna go to the line, and I'll tell you what, he makes both of these and uh Yeah, this is uh they're just this is a huge win. Uh, right now Genoa's just playing great ball. And like you said it, every week they step it up a little more. And uh you know, I, I I'm giving a lot of credit to Tim Hausfed. He how, he's done a heck of a job this year. And this team from start to finish is just getting better and better. Big shot by Allen, they're up two. And Brian Vorst is staring it down right now at his bench. He wants more out of this team. And you know what? I think they dominated Janaw pretty bad at, at, in Janaw. And I'm not sure they realize that this team is a much improved team. Big miss there and Ben Morrison. You know, you, you say that that kid has just done the little things today too, right? He got another big rebound. Him, he's playing great defense. And now you got Ryland Stoner on Morrison. Trevor Wasserman. Mike right now oh. are on the steal. Going to the line. Comets are up two. Wow. Rossford's gotten a lot of turnovers down the stretch here. And Janaw's had some turnovers. It's both teams. 40-38. Comet lead with a timeout. We'll just stay here. It's probably a 30-second. Um, I'm telling you, Marty, uh, Alan Latard came to play tonight, and so did Zach. I mean, both of those guys inside have, have played well, and latar has been able to basically hit the shot that he's wanted to hit all night. Well, I do think that there, there goes that flip again, Mike. I always I got a special oh. thing on my my eye handle wow. there for her. She can wow. flip, huh? You said she's going to the University of Toledo. Though. Well, she's going to go to the University of Toledo study education. She's trying out for the cheer team. And oh, she'll make the, the cheer team. Hopefully the Rockets can make, you know, she, she makes it. She, she's worked hard at it. Oh, she has. She has. I'll tell you what, though. As much as, it, you know, Janaw's at the free throw line. And the difference is early in the season, I was at a Fostoria game. Janal was up nine, I believe, with like a minute to go and lost that game. I remember, we did that game. And I think I, we did that game. And I'm telling you, the difference is Janal has come so far, and you got to give Tim Halsfeld a heck of a hand in that. I mean, first of all, no better coach in the NBC than Brian Gorse. My hat's tipped to him. He's just team's NBC title. I wonder if winning the title comes in and then tonight this might be a wake-up call for this team. Brian calls timeout trying to ice Mike right now but I'm telling you. He ain't gonna ice it right now. He's uh, right now has got ice in their veins. I he ain't gonna miss this shot I don't believe do you. Yeah yeah yep. 43. This is just incredible great basketball here. Gotta get them thanks out to Michael J. Weiss 
and uh, Weiss Roofing. You know, they're right over in Millbury, and uh, commercial roofer, and Marty and I, we talked about the fact they put the roof on this baby and uh, and uh, put their mark. I, I'm wondering if Michael's got a mark somewhere he put in there. So, you know, uh, 100, 100 years from now, it, it's there. And uh, their phone number is 419-836-3028, helping us out and uh, making sure, uh, you know, we can get these games out there. And, you know, we've got we've got playoffs starting here too. So we we got to figure out. We've got to make sure we can uh, – get everything put together so uh so we can do our playoff games i couldn't figure out what those girls were doing down there they were throwing what what are they doing i don't have any idea what they're doing but anyhow here they go again watch watch i think they're (laughs) throwing them out to the wash i don't know i don't know what's going on over there but but, uh, mike right now is at the line the score is 38 for the rossford bulldogs 41 right now we're shooting the back end of a one and one up, yeah. boom, I'm telling you, his dad's got a little bit of a smile, but he's already yelling at him, so. And there goes Gaston, right to the hole. You know he was gonna do that. And what a heck of a move, and now is he, well, they're not counting that as a shot, Mike. I guess it was on the floor, so probably a smart foul. Yeah. You know, Janaw's got. I got one more. Yep, well, this will be the, this, this will put him on the yeah. line. Uh oh, there's Dewees. Oh, little long. Oh. oh, the littlest guy on the floor, Trevor Wasserman, <laughs> almost got the biggest rebound of the evening right there. What a hustle play by Trevor Wasserman. Now Uh-oh. they're at the line. Now Dewees is going to the line. I don't like that foul. I don't. Well, you know, if you're Janon, you got to break this press and get an easy shot. Yep, yep. And uh, the problem is they got to get the ball in right now his hands because he will make the shots at the end of the game. If he gets fouled, you got to put him on the line, and he'll 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 do it. But you, if, if Rossford is smart, they'll look to foul somebody besides right now. First one's up. Good. What a shooter. He's had a big night, Deweese. That rebound he had in the middle of the fourth quarter was pretty special. 42-39, Deweese is shooting the front, back end of the one and one. Oh, he missed it. Uh-oh, ball is, oh, they got oh, it back. Shapila bobbled the ball, and there's Ben Morrison for the three. three. Wow. And right like that, Janaw doesn't fold. They get it down the court. Two Ten seconds, game. eight seconds. Gaston Morrison for the three. Oh, oh they called a foul. They did. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, they called a foul, Mike. He's going to take three. I don't know. It might have been a two, though. Everybody's up here at Rossford. What a night. Wow. What a night. Ben Morrison on the line with a chance to give the Bulldogs a lead. It's 42, 44. What a game. Noah's on top. Let's stay right here. Five seconds left to go. Uh, They're going to get, Ben's getting three. I haven't seen, but I think he was behind. And all I was looking at is everybody in the Janaw stands was upset about it. And everybody in the Rossford stands was happy about it. <laughs> you gotta love high school basketball. You gotta love Northwest Ohio. Thank you, Mike Jamison, for bringing this game. It's fun to be here. Yes. And it's, you know what, thank the community partners that make all this happen. You know, it's funny because we've been doing this since 2005 now, and I can't even tell you how many of those close games that would have never gotten any airplay. You know, the year last year with the plants and the benches, the year before that with your son and the shots at the end of the game, they would have been nowhere. You know what I mean? And you, you go to our website, they're there. Go watch them, man. They're, they're, they're actually a lot of fun to watch some of the old ones. 5.7, Morrison nope. up with the first nope. one and misses. I knew it when it went off his hands. He missed that. It was off the back of the rim. He needs these two, and Janelle Oh, he's going to ice him. 
Tim Hausfeld calls a timeout. That's well, probably a smart one. Yeah. Smart one. They're they're out now. That's it. And uh, five That's point. Ball game if they can if they can you know get the ball up the court. If he misses one of these other two, you got to get the ball up. But you know Brian Boris. Yep. One of the smartest coaches in the NBC is going to have a play and what he's got to do and whichever way happens. The problem is we don't know what Tim Hofsfeld's going to do because he hasn't had a lot of these games, right? <laughs> yeah, so, you that's know, true. He's that's a true. new coach. He's taken Janong uh, over this year. He's done a remarkable job. Great heart. Works the kids extremely hard. I always, I, you know how I tell it's, a, it's both well-coached teams. As you look at both teams at this timeout, they were both staring at their head coach, listening to him with such intensity. You gotta love what they teach these kids, you know. That's that's for the longevity of their life. The listen, work hard, the integrity of these two coaches to watch this and develop these young men, it's impressive. Well, he's got two more coming right now. This is a, one of his biggest shots. You know what? It's all for pride now. You won the NBC. Exactly. I mean, it. And it drains that, that one. That one was nothing but net right there. And if I'm a betting man. Yeah. Don't even gonna, have to say it, right? He's going to make this one. Yeah. And uh, the biggest issue is if he doesn't, these guys better check out because that boom's going to come right over the head. You got them both. Tie ball game. Well, here we go. Timeout, folks, 44, 44. We are in Rossford, Ohio, and what a game. I'm telling you, we've had some crazy, crazy games this year, and uh, we appreciate all the people helping us out, making these, these things rock and roll. Uh, we've got playoffs coming up, and it, it's just going to be who can get on board with us here to uh, help us out to make sure we can do these because those OSHAA fees just kill me. And, uh, and uh, my gosh, there's so much good basketball. You, you know, Chinoa's playing well. Uh, Eastwood girls are playing well. The Rossford girls are playing well. You know, both of these boys teams are, it, it, there's just so many good, good teams to follow. And, you know, I got three TV channels on this thing. We can watch three different games a night if, I, if we, we got the backing on it. So keep that in mind. And uh, we're going to, uh, we're do our best to get these games on. There, there are some awesome ones. Well, I'm calling something here, Mike. I'm going to go with I'm, you. What are you going to say? I, I'm telling you, Janaw's going to set up a play to hit a fly here, and they're going to try to put this game out of reach on this play. They're going to try to go deep, I'll bet. But if not, I would get it to Mike Reitenauer and let him go coast to coast. I would either, I there, I would either do some play to try to get him there, or call another timeout. Yep. I think. Brian was smart to do that because Janelle had a nice play set up there, I think. He didn't like well, it. He had Jake all the way down yeah, here. He didn't, he didn't like what he saw, and boom. And but, you know, his, and they're both out they're, now. They're, they're both out. Coaches are talking to him right now. It, how fun is this? We're going to put them out on the floor, both teams, Janelle's ball, 5.7 seconds, and all the coaches can do is sit on their hands and watch. <laughs> I'm going to be hating all of you tomorrow <laughs> when I get up to do my radio show, but we'll have a lot of things to talk about. It's uh, Yeah, you got to come in and do the radio show one of these days over at Pro Golf Fairways. It's uh, next, week, next week we'll be at, live at the uh, golf show at Tam O'Shanner. Uh, Andrew Brown's set up there, and uh, they're going to have a – just a wonderful setup. We always do our show there from 8 to 10 on 106 ESPN. And that I'm looking forward to that. That's the official link of spring, you know, the golf show. Wow. And I'm ready. I'm ready. It starts swinging. Well, the other thing, and I, I don't even want to bring this up for the comments, but they've struggled with turnovers all season long. Right, right. Rossford's got their big team in, tall guys everywhere. Lots of athletes. They're not putting it. you just it, play I, for overtime here? I, if I'm Mike right now, or I break hard. I get my ball, the ball, and I'm going coast to coast. They will foul him. There's Allen. There's Mike. Back. There's Stoner. Oh, Mike with a wide open. Oh! <laughs> right now, we're won the game. Are you kidding me? He just won the game. And he hasn't scored all night. He's had two points all night. Right now, pulls it off right there at the end. 
for the three-point shot to win the game. Right now, it gets it done. Hey, Mike, I might wow. not throw a lot, but what did I tell you when they took it out? Yep, yep, yep. That I went right to right now. Coming back to right now, or if you want to win the game. Wow. What Last second, Noah. Hey. Once again, what instant classic ball. right here. Instant classic, and congratulations to uh, Genoa Comets. Incredible game. Uh, Daddy right now has got to be proud as heck. And uh, boy, I'm glad we decided to do this game tonight, huh? Well, I think Mike right now just got himself a first team all NBC. Uh, what a what a what a wonderful shot. But you know what? Wow. Tonight's wow. about this Rossford community. Mike, it's a big win for Genoa. But I'm telling you right now, Brian Vorst and these boys from Rossford, it's a tough loss, but you know what? It was probably what they needed to get them prepared and ready for the tournament. They won the NBC, folks. Don't kid yourself. This is a really good team. The best team in the NBC, the champions, the Rossford Bulldogs, tonight was not their night because Janaw beat them. But I'm telling you, it might have been what they needed to take them to the tournament and win it. I, I agree totally. Um, we're we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, Marty, thank you so much for being a part of this. And uh, and uh, just a great win. Uh, you know, great thing for Mikey. And uh, just, you know, he hadn't had hit a three-pointer all night. And, uh, boy, what a time to hit a three-pointer with it no was, time. How about that? It was unbelievable. But I, what I'm telling you, Mike, is you got to give Tim Hofsfeld a heck of a nod because that was one of the best out of bounds breaks pass look at, pass look boom. at daddy down and there that's what i'm telling you right there He's oh pointing the genoa, at the genoa bank, bank three point shot yeah, got you that's got a you. bank shot three oh, pointer man. we call them we're never going to hear the end no, of it now i'll tell you what oh my goodness congratulations <laughs> rossford congratulations genoa what a season for both these teams the nbc champion rossford bulldogs so proud of the community so proud of this arena the community needs to be happy, and they need to get around these kids because I'm telling you, they're going to make a run on the tournament. <laughs> oh, somebody. Thanks, Mike. Thanks hey, not a problem, here. Marty. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Folks, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, we got a radio show tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, ESPN 106.5. God bless you all for being with us with two games tonight, and uh, we'll have them up on YouTube for you. These will not be on TV. These are just internet games, so we'll have them up there, and uh, God bless you all for being a part of this, and uh, folks, we'll see you next week. Check out the website for our games that we're going to have. Good night, everybody. Take care. Good night.